remember a spirituality in marriage. That, and that is the God factor. And the moment you ignore those things, you know, like you think you play them loose, they have effects on you. There are several mothers that are marrying their sons spiritually. They are married to their sons spiritually. And there are some fathers that are married to their daughters spiritually. Female, you know, nine of them, have you experienced that? Oh, my dear daughter, my dear, I know, I know. I don't want to sit on TV and say something. But I don't want anyone to doubt what I'm saying because they are real. There are mothers who make sure that their, their, their daughter-in-laws never have children. And then there will be the same mothers who will be blaming the young lady, insulting her, I want grandchildren, I want my son to have, I want to hear babies cry, and she's the same person who gathers sins under her cross and puts her toe down that this woman will never have children. So if you are a woman and you think it is only because the doctor says your, uh, you have something wrong with your stomach and your womb and things, please, you better start praying. Because prayer moves mountains and prayer changes things. It's not everything the doctor can see. And so a spiritual thing is very, the spiritual aspect is very important. Don't play loose on that. If you don't have any pastor that you talk to, find a pastor that you can trust and let them help you. They will not do the praying for you. You have to do the praying yourself. But the, that, that the pastor can help you to pray. A marriage without prayer is like a house without doors. 